Adam Sean Ritchie, 30, who has links to the Gypsy Joker MC, was jailed for six years in the Kalgoorlie District Court, over his role in the heist of the Beta Hunt Mine in April 2020. The New Zealand-born former driller, who has been in custody at Haken Prison since January, was sentenced for aggravated burglary, two counts of stealing and stealing a motor vehicle. In April 2020, four men stole approximately $270,000 worth of raw gold ore, along with a two-ton safe. They also stole a front-end loader from the gold mine site to load the safe onto a vehicle and then used another vehicle to block an access road. All vehicles were stolen from the site. Richie was one of four men, one of whom was armed with a sawn-off rifle. The court was told that only 20 ounces of 100-ounce gold was recovered and forensically linked to Beta Hunt, while the rest 80 ounces is yet to be located, and the firearm has also not been found. Richie initially pleaded not guilty to aggravated burglary and stealing charges in September 2020 but changed his plea last month after watching the CCTV footage which clearly identified him, just three weeks before he was due to face trial. Two of his co-accused, 29-year-old Thomas Luke Gibbons and 33-year-old James Daniel Pugh, have pleaded not guilty and are due back in the Kalgoorlie District Court on July 20. A fourth suspect who was captured by CCTV cameras at the mine has never been identified. Judge Carmel Barbagayo told the court she had read a letter from Richie expressing his remorse, but she found it hard to accept given he would not cooperate with police to aid in the recovery of the missing gold or the firearm. Judge said, I'd like to know, where's the rest of it? You've had every opportunity to provide information about that firearm to get it off the streets, but you've failed to do that. Your words have little meaning when you have had the opportunity to provide so much more information. She added, in a community like Kalgoorlie there needs to be a strong message to deter others who might be thinking about doing the same thing. The security cameras show the group arriving in a dual cab ute with a hydraulic lift on the back. They used an angle grinder to cut through the lock on the seed container and loaded up the available gold specimens in buckets, before using an oxyacetylene welding torch from the mine's workshop to try and cut open the safe. They failed, and so used a nearby forklift to lift it onto the back of a four-wheel drive utility. The robbery took around 30 minutes and the group left the mine around 10.20 pm while there were workers underground at Beta Hunt. Richie had taken steps to process the gold by buying a supply of hydrochloric acid. The court was told the burnout remains of the stolen land cruiser and the safe were found on Woolabar Station. Richie's lawyer told the court that he was under significant financial stress at the time after being placed on job keeper and he saw the Roberry as a quick fix. Richie said he had been under financial stress because of the COVID-19 pandemic which had left him earning less than half his usual $140,000 salary as a driller supervisor when he made the decision to participate in the heist. Richie, had hidden his share of the gold in a laptop bag at his workplace. Police also recovered gold from Gibbons House in Boulder, Pew's workshop and from a Kalgoorlie gold buyer that was sold gold in quartz by Gibbons. Besides the prison term Judge Barbagayo also ordered compensation of $327,000 be paid to the mine owners. Richie's sentence comprised four years on the aggravated burglary charge, which carried a maximum penalty of 20 years. He received a further two years jail for the gold stealing charge, and one year for stealing the Land Cruiser, which will be served concurrently. Having come to Australia from New Zealand at the age of 18, Richie also faces deportation at the end of his prison term.